I found that in a lot of dating advice and money advice, and in a lot of advice people in general give on these topics, there is a lot of survivorship bias. For those who don't know, survivorship bias is thinking that what worked for you will work for everyone, and thinking that because something worked for somebody else, it will work for you as well. You can't just look at a small, successful subgroup and conclude that that strategy is a magic bullet. The success cases from that strategy often get far more attention than the failure cases, even though the failure cases may outnumber the success cases. In my teens and early 20s, I was not one of those guys who was smooth with the opposite sex, or smooth with anybody for that matter. My social skills were circling the toilet. I looked on the internet to find exact words to say, things I should wear, things I should do, hobbies I should try out, haircuts I should take, and behaviors and attitudes I should try out. There are videos and articles that tell you to be outgoing, talk a lot, have a lot of friends, and others that tell you to just be yourself and one day you'll meet the right one. I tried the former and it came across as forced, and I tried the latter, and one didn't come, and too much time was passing, so I knew that something was wrong. And that's why I absolutely hate that piece of advice. Most of the people who sell courses to struggling young guys, their intention is not to help these guys, but to help themselves by selling these guys a course. Those high school movies some of us watched while growing up don't help matters either. They depict a weak-willed, nerdy main character who somehow gets the girl to leave the big and masculine sports player or bad boy for him. You need to understand, in real life, there's something deeper going on than the movie caricatures of nice guy and bad boy. Immature girls and women go for and stay in relationships with these guys because of their looks, confidence, masculinity, and social status. They may not be good men, but they're good at being men. You need to become good at being a man. If you're weak and spineless, you cannot be a good man. Then you're just harmless. Only if you're a strong man in different ways can you be a good man. There are plenty of resources out there for that and I'll be addressing this topic in a separate video. Now there are things you can do as a man to help your situation, but they're not magic bullet quick fix solutions. We may be in the 21st century, but for the most part, if you want a relationship, you have to approach and you have to take initiative. With every rejection, take stock and maybe get a trusted friend or family member to give you feedback. If you can realize what you did wrong yourself, even better. If you get rejected repeatedly, then there's something else you have to work on. Could be your personal hygiene, could be your grooming, could be your social skills. You need to take a break and start basic and learn and practice this stuff. Get your grooming, personal hygiene, social skills, physique and employment in order first. These are the bare bones basics. After that, they're still not just going to come to you. You're an adult. This isn't Mickey Mouse Playhouse where he calls for something and it comes. You can't just climb up a tree and shout, Oh woman! You have to go out and find them. Same with money. I'm not rich right now, so I'm in no position to give advice on how to make a lot of money. But I do know that it takes a mixture of hard work, smart work and luck. At present, I'm doing the hard work and the smart work, and I hope to learn something from someone who's crossed that bridge. Just like how someone can learn from the struggles I've been through. I'm a spiritual person, and I try not to compare myself to others who have what I don't. I believe that if it's God will, it will happen. And money doesn't solve every problem. In fact, it comes with its own set of problems. For example, there are rich people who have so-called friends who only hang on to them because of their money. And they never know if someone likes them for the person they are or for their money. I'm going to tell you that if you want more results in life, you have to improve yourself. For social and dating, you don't have any control over your height and your genetic looks. But you do have control over your dress sense, social skills and physique. Your confidence can be boosted by working on these three. You may get more fulfilling friendships this way as well, and your level of well-being will go up. I know it's hard, but don't expect instant results. Work hard, stay humble, never stop learning, and I'll talk to you in another video.